tax-free investing everything you need to know today's video will start with a bit of info on tax-free investing with ices then we'll get into different types of ices how to open a tax stocks and shares ISA a little step-by-step -step guide then we'll finish up with setting yourself up financially with the stocks and shares ISA understanding tax-free investing is more important than ever we are already paying far too much tax in my humble opinion but in the UK the government don't think that's enough like the fact the capital gains tax allowance of 12,000 ish has been halved to 6,000 from April 2023 and then cut again to 3,000 from April 2024. This boils my blood, to be honest. But we have to deal with the cards we get dealt. A proven way of tax free investing in the UK is by investing inside an ISA. ISA stands for Individual Savings Account. Your yearly allowance basically how much you're legally allowed to put in each year is £20,000. Different types of ISA. You can open a cash ISA if you're risk averse, but the rates are rubbish, to be honest. For that reason, I'm personally out. My preference is to go with the stocks and shares ISA. This at least gives you a fighting chance of matching or even beating inflation. Historically, based on over 100 years of data, it's been normal to get returns of anything between 8 and 10% by investing in a low-cost index fund. If you have kids, you can invest into a junior ISA. You can go with a cash ISA or stocks and shares ISA and can invest up to £9,000 per year. An ISA worth considering is the lifetime ISA. You need to be between the ages of 18 and 40 and invest into it until you're 50. You can choose between a cash ISA or a stocks and shares ISA and you already know which I'd prefer to go with. There are loads of benefits like the fact that governments give you a 25% bonus on top of your contributions up to a maximum of £1,000. How to open a stocks and shares ISA. There are a number of ISA providers including fund managers, banks, discount brokers and many more. If you're new to stocks and shares ISAs, it might be a good idea to speak to a regulated financial advisor. I went with being my own financial advisor to save costs. A stocks and share ISA allows you to invest in a wide range of shares, funds, investment trusts and bonds. What you invest into is really determined by your risk tolerance and your goals. The platforms I have experience of are Hargreaves and Lansdowne and Vanguard. I like both platforms and there are benefits to the pair of them when you look into it. I eventually decided to go with Vanguard and my decision was mainly down to cost. Vanguard is cheaper and costs 0.15% per year compared to Hargreaves costing 0.45% per year. As I'm a big fan of Vanguard, we'll use this platform as our example of how to open a stocks and shares ISA. Here is a step-by-step -step guide. Using your preferred search engine, like Google for example, type in Vanguard UK. Then on their site, click on what we offer. From the drop-down menu, click on Vanguard ISA. Applicants must be at least 18 years old and a UK resident. Proof of identity is required at this stage. Click on open an account. You'll need your bank details to add money. Then you simply open an account and add money to your new ISA. This is when it gets a bit more complicated as you now need to decide on what to invest in them. After doing a fair bit of research, I went with a life strategy 80-20 fund made up of 80% stocks and 20% bonds. If you struggle at this point, remember, you do have the option of speaking to a regulated financial advisor. Set yourself up with a stocks and shares ISA. 
The main benefits of stocks and shares ICES is that it's tax free and you can access your money anytime. It's flexible. This flexibility is a big plus for me and I know I can invest in a wide range of shares and other assets. So some of the main taxes you don't have to pay on investments inside your stocks and shares ISA. Income tax on interest. Dividend income tax. Capital gains tax on profits. Inheritance tax. If you've got any spare money as we head towards April, why not stick it in an ISA? This way you get to use some of your £20,000 tax-free allowance for this year. If you don't use this tax-free allowance in this tax year, it's gone forever. You can't carry over and invest more in a given year. A stocks and share, shares ISA used correctly will accelerate you towards financial independence. So it's a big deal. It can set you up when done the right way. The earlier you get in, the better. You might be in your early 20s and decide to invest 500 pounds per month into a low cost index fund. Let's see where this will get you after 20 years. Start investing at 20. You invest five pounds per calendar month into a low cost index fund. You earn on average 8% per annum after costs. The value of your fund after 20 years is 297,037 pounds. Interest earned is 176,000. This figure of 297,000 will give you serious options as a 40 year old and the 176,537 interest earned demonstrates the power of compound interest. This shows you this tax efficient way of investing can properly set you up if done the right way. Anyway, that'll do for today's video. If you've enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. That will mean a lot and be a 